ability to attract them. Yeah. Because this is swarm season. Month of June in Nova Scotia is when a lot of hives are strong enough from overwintering where they uh, can reproduce. Okay. These, most of these are empty. Like, let's say this swarm is sitting here for five or six days, which can happen. They get to be what's called a dry swarm, in which case they've kind of used up a lot of the food they had with them and they start to get nasty. Uh Flying bees. I'm going to try to drop this blob in. Do it. The hope is, the hope is that the queen drops in. If she does, they will quickly go down in there with her. Yeah. Just rushing over here. Okay. Nice. It looks like it's true. There's a lot of bees in the air. Yeah, there is. And they, they appear to be coming in. There is a lot of bees in the air. I don't know if you can catch it on yeah, camera. They're, they're, like, they're passing me from this way, so they're like. Really? I wonder what's going on. I wonder if we've still got more bees adding to the swarm. And just that very rapidly they'll want to start building home. Okay. So if let's say you didn't have any of these frames and there was just an empty box. Yeah. They'll start building combs on the ceiling. Oh. Then it, when I go to move them, I gotta cut that apart. I gotcha. So if I can get frames in right away, yeah, they may focus on them. Nice. Here, they've mm -hmm. done a lot better. Nice. So, um, yeah, it's, you know, I had just a couple hives for the first few seasons, and then last season I, I went up to 11 or 11 hives, and then I lost a few in the winter. I think I'm back to about 11 now. Okay. But my goal is to get to 100. Wow. And probably we'll do that within the next two or three seasons. Because I'm focused on it. I'll, I'll split hives, I'll get swarms, keep bringing them in. I'll just water. Yeah. And I just miss those bees on the outside. And to them, it's like, ooh, getting get kind of chilly out. So they all go in in a few minutes. Yeah. Then I just snap that closed. The cork I took out is another big hole on the side of it that's just screened over. So the air still will go through it. Plus, that little cover I have there is punched full of holes, so airflow will move through. I, for now, we just have to see if they are, in fact, happy enough. Try not to do too many of those impacts. Good day. Awesome day. <laughs> Yeah, there is a couple of them there. So how would you get those guys in? Well, basically, it looks like they are going in for the night. 
They'll quiet down here, at, you know, in the next few minutes, I imagine they'll all be in. I mean, it's a fairly clear night, so it's still kind of bright. Yeah, they naturally know to go in there when it's dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, occasionally, bees will get, you know, stuck out in the field. Night falls, gets too cold. They'll just sit in the grass overnight. Oh, okay. And then, like a lot of insects, if it's too... Damp? Too cold, or they cold. can't really move very well. Okay. You, they say you either move them two feet or two miles. If okay. You, if you wanted to move it just a little bit over, they'd adjust to that, like they did from the swarm location to that spot. Okay. But if you move them, say, just over the next yard, it'd be a, there'd be chaos. There'd be bees all over the place looking for it here, and then there'd be bees wherever you moved it to. But if you close it up and move it to a completely different location, as soon as they come out, they realize they're, that, that their sense of place is totally screwed up. And then they uh, they reorient, which is where they basically just float around a little bit and kind of record again where they are in relation to the sun. Nice. So Looks plus, like I, I I got the foundation. I bought the. You have to. Uh, these are specifically for bee traps. Oh no! This is just for a beehive. Oh. No, the trap is just just one of these boxes. Okay. Where I've just drilled a hole in, in, in there for yeah. entrance, and I drilled another hole that I screened over for ventilation. It's just it's an old box. That okay. Old box is ancient, so it's kind of nice. beat up. But it worked well. They done right. Yeah, they're in there. Yes. That's <laughs> awesome. So then, you know, I'll transfer them out of there probably tomorrow, at some point, and put them into. I'll take all the frames out of that and put it in one of these. Put another box on top so they have lots of room. Yeah. It'll have a proper cover and an entrance on it and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. And there they'll be. And on the way, I just tend to cover them up so that it's dark. Good idea. Well, you're wow. all set.